Welcome back to the channel, guys. Click like, subscribe to the channel. Also, look on Facebook for exclusive content that you won't find on the YouTube channel. Okay, this is a yearly update on a video I did. Actually, it was one of my first videos that I did on the channel regarding a service by the name of Financial Education Services or FES. In the prior video, I'll leave a link below. I talked about them getting a letter from the FEC and the SEC uh, regarding some of their practices. Now, I do have to correct myself as far as some of the details that I actually talked about in that video. The, the main thing that I had wrong was they are able to practice in the state of Georgia. Now, this lawsuit came up in the state of Georgia that I talked about came from a, a lawsuit that the state of Georgia was going against financial education services and what the lawsuit what I the actual lawsuit lawsuit that I actually dove into the actual court documents is more of on a service of deceptive practices. So it's not the the credit repair part, it's the MLM part. And and they were finding people in that state were um, using, uh, just saying that as a credit repair service is not an MLM service. So the state attorney uh, found that as a deceptive practice, and so I have to correct myself on that. Uh, as far as the education services, it's not bad. I did go undercover and did sign up with somebody. Although I do my own credit repair uh, absolutely free. You can check the videos uh, for credit repair, and it's absolutely free. It takes you through everything. But what I was finding was everything was an upsell. Upsell, you get five people. Uh, so more of it's more of a MLM, more than it is a uh, credit repair service. So if you're going in just thinking you're going to get your credit repaired, yeah, you might do that, but they, they there is often pressure for you to bring more people in and to sign up as an agent so you can get certain perks and benefits. Now, if you're not into MLMs, um, it's, it's, this is not the service for you. But if you're into MLMs and you want to learn earn some extra money and you have a um, a market marketing strategy or you have a lot of people that you can connect into the business yeah by by all means use uh financial education services because it's, it's a way to get extra money and in these times of a pandemic uh, it can it can work for people but most things you will know and this is a great mlm um i have to retract in the in the first video yeah this is one most mlms don't work uh, you'll see them around for maybe three, two to three years, but this has been around for 15 years, and it does actively help people, um, but I think their agents that they have is, they need, to, and, and I think this is on the company too, because when I was going undercover in the company, they don't tell you up front that it's an MLM, they market it as a credit repair, and then you can earn some money on the side if you want, which is actually... <laughs> It's more of the MLM part that confuses people because it's more pressure you get people in. It's kind of like that uh, Tradea or Forex service that I, I see out now is that, oh, yeah, you're gonna, uh, you can learn Forex and stuff, but majority of the time they're trying to get you to market service and get people to come in and join, and then you get a percentage of this and that. So if you're not into MLMs, uh, you know, totally stay away from financial education services. But also with the Bread Better Business Bureau, it has a bad rating because I think, and I have to retract on my own, I think a lot of people don't know this. This is the MLM 
versus a credit repair. Now, if you go on a business, a Better Business Bureau site, and you read some of these things, it's n I don't think it's an necessarily all the fault of financial education services. A lot of it is, but I, I read a lot of it, and a lot of it is just people just got in thinking they were just going to pay $288 to get their credit repaired, and the, the misconnect somewhere in between the, the actual agent that actually talked to them and the actual service. So it, it was, it's more of a misconnect, but there is a lot of um, upsells and trying to keep people in. So... <clears throat> So it's not all the way bad, and it's not all the way great. You just gotta know. And and in my last video, they were they were talking about me because I <laughs> I was using ums and ams because it was one of my first videos, guys. And it it is bad. It is bad. But I kept it up because I got so much views. But <laughs> if you read some of the comments, either pro or con, the pros were um, this is a good service. You know, I never had a problem with it, and that some of the Cons or some of the other people that were commenting on it was like it was a fraudulent service. So what I actually did, I actually signed up with somebody. I went in, I did an investigation, seeing what what works and what doesn't work. That <laughs> is to me, it's kind of sketchy, only because they don't tell you up front what it is. If they would have told you up front what it was. You could have just kind of went off of that, but then they slowly release stuff and then you're paying $89 a month if you get your credit repaired <laughs> you probably don't have that and especially during the pandemic you don't have that type of money to uh, disperse into a into a business but again MLMs are you know I, I'm not a big fan of them never been never have never been I every MLM I've Gotten involved in end up <laughs> I getting end up getting a lot of money from it, and then it actually shuts down for some reason. Some scammy, you stop getting paid and all that good stuff. But I I can't say this about this company. This company has actually been in business for fifteen years. So I did just want to backtrack and um recant some of those statements that I made in the original video because you know I actually didn't go actually all into the 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 details of the business I didn't actually sign up so when I actually when I signed up and I saw what it was and I was like oh okay maybe and maybe this is not all bad but it's not all good either so it depends on your level of what you want to take it do you want to actually market it as a business or do you want to as an MLM business or do you want to just you know not just get the credit repair because if you just want to get the credit repair there's other services that helps you with just credit repair, uh, and that might what you be, might what you be looking for is something like that. But you know, like I said, you can go and read some of this stuff too. A lot of it is you know faulty ad advertisement, and <clears throat> people are not not you know following the rules in, in Georgia and and a lot of these places like might be in your state where. You, you know, they don't allow MLM, okay? Uh, that's another thing. You have to make sure uh, your state allows these MLMs. <clears throat> for, most, for the most part, it's, it's, it's okay. If I would give it a grade, if the Better, Bus Better Business Bureau had a grade for it, I would give it a, maybe a D minus a C. That's just my opinion from being actually involved and the thing is it's not always all about a scam everything is not a scam because it doesn't work for you uh, the scammy part is when they don't tell you up front what the company is they tell you up front what the company is and then you don't still don't do well then it's not a scam it's um, something that didn't work for you or you didn't put enough work into it uh, the agent that I had was actually fantastic. I mean, the lady was good. She's fantastic. I just wasn't into MLM. I just was in it to investigate and see 
what the fuss was about because <laughs> you get 50 50 you get hey it's a scam and then you get the other side to say hey it's not a scam it works for me and that's for any mlm some people are really really good at that stuff and some people are just not into that stuff but the thing is is you have to be transparent when you're on the internet and in this day and time you have to be transparent what kind of services and stuff are you all offering people? Is this a business opportunity or is this something that you want to? Is this is a service? So again, I, I want to recant some of the things that's in the original video. <laughs> I kept out the ums and ums in this video. <laughs> Excuse me. So, some of that that was one of my very first videos, so it, it's pretty bad, but. I mean, I just wanted to re rehash, re come to this because I I still get a lot of likes and a lot of dislikes on the video. I just wanted to come in and just show you guys. If it was a grade, I would give it. It would be a C. If you absolutely want free credit repair, uh, I do have videos that says uh, fixed credit, and it's absolutely free. It's on my channel. All you gotta do is search it. But if you want to join these services, uh, I'm pretty sure if you uh, Google uh, financial education services, they'll put you in the right spot with the the agent that you need. Or uh, here, here's some of this stuff right over here. You can call and if you wanna, and it might be something you like, uh, something to get you some extra money. But just know going in, it's mainly an MLM. It's not a a credit repair services per se. Click like, subscribe. Remember to go to Facebook. Uh, Money Makers TV for exclusive content that you won't find on the channel. We'll see you next time.